Just kidding. It is 8.34 p.m. I am going to do my daily morning. No, no, that's not right. My daily, um, I literally can't think. Sugar, help me think. What am I doing today? Ooh. Do not kiss my mouth. Mm. Yee! Thank you, sir. Now, please stop looking my face. Today, I am doing my... Okay, that's enough. Today, I will be doing a highly requested video. My daily makeup routine. Something I do every daily, every morning. My daily makeup routine changes every, like, week. <laughs> But I'll do, I'll, I'll show you guys what I've been doing for a few weeks now. I also don't know why I look so pale. Ah! Ah! My lighting is not good. I have to turn off my light, like my actual light, because I look even paler than this when I, uh, I can't speak tonight. Let's get started. Daily makeup routine at 9 p.m. on a Friday night. I just had to make sure tonight was Friday. I paused. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender because that's what we start with, right? Beauty! Beauty blender! I'm back. I'm back and better than ever. Okay, to preface, I'm gonna start by saying I don't wear foundation. If you have been on my channel for a while, if you've seen any of my videos where I do any sort of makeup, you know that I don't wear foundation because I used to have really, really bad acne. And now I have a literal fear of putting a whole like mask of makeup on me. I have like a fear of it. So I just don't do it anymore. I would say let's start with moisturizer, but I'm too lazy to put it on. I start with a NARS creamy highlighter and I have a lip pimple that I'm covering. And I basically cover all my imperfections. Haha, -ha, funny joke. Oh, your whole face is an imperfection, Tara. Yeah, I've been told that before. Somebody lied to her several times. Today we're just covering the dark circles. Then I just Um, also, everyone has asked me to do this video, like, oh, show us how you do your makeup every day. Um, but let me just say, you guys, I'm not a makeup artist. I do half the shit, like, wrong. I don't follow any makeup rules, like, oh my god, blend. I don't need makeup gurus telling me I'm doing this wrong. I'm fully aware. Now that my concealer's done, for the most part, I usually go to do my eyebrows. Now, here's the thing, you guys. With my eyebrows, sometimes I fill them in a lot, but I got my eyebrows done today, so they look really like perfect. So what I'm basically just gonna do is I'm gonna fill in just like kind of some more sparse areas with light strokes in the direction of the hairs, just to make it more perfect. This looks literally no different, but I'm just gonna brush them out with the spoolie. Usually I like fill them in a lot more, but today I got my eyebrows done, so they look kind of like snatched. I feel like I don't need to do much. Now that we're done with the concealer and brows, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my skin. So lately I've not been bronzing because I'm scared of acne. I've been getting like some pimples here and there. So what I'm gonna do is I just use blush. I use Warm Soul by MAC and I can't open this. Oh my god, ouch. Hi, I changed my angle. Hope that's okay. So yeah, I just put my blush on like, I don't give a crap, I just la la, in an upwards motion so my cheekbones look more and less dragged down. I'm gonna put some blush on the nose for that. I just sneezed. Look, I don't know. I don't know why people do that, but I like the look of it. It also makes my like contour look better. I literally don't know how to contour. I just like slide on some contour color on my nose and hope for the best in the correct area. Okay, that's good. It doesn't look much different in the camera, but it looks much different in person. Um, okay. Yeah, cute. Blush is done. Can I just be honest with you guys really quick? Let's have like an honest chat. I'm not the best at makeup. I'm honestly kind of embarrassed to be doing this because I don't know much about makeup and I feel like y'all are gonna drag me. Now I get this old ass Anastasia contour kit and I just get a fluffy brush and oh that was a lot I like mm, put some shadow on the bottom of my nose to make it appear smaller 
and then I put some right before the tip of my nose to kind of make it more round at the tip and then I bring it up and shade the side. I feel like I'm not wearing enough blush if I'm being quite honest. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go back and put more blush on. Okay, now what? Now what do I do? Now we're gonna go ahead and- I know this is controversial with me. But I'm gonna put highlighter on right now and then I'll set my face and then I'll put the highlighter on again at the end and set my face again. Oh no. This has now gone downhill. Oh, also sometimes I wear cream blush under powder blush, but I didn't do that today. So I get my Fenty Beauty and Mean Money and Hustler Baby and I use the Hustler Baby side and I just put it on the high parts of my cheekbone. Sometimes I do like right under my brow bone too. Make me look really like, you know? Kendall Jenner vibes with the high points in the face. I don't know if that made any sense. You guys, I actually had a dream about Kendall Jenner last night. I had a dream her and my assistant, Alyssa, were just like BFFs. It was very odd, a very odd dream. I'm like using a lot of highlighter, but it's fine. Then I'll go in, and usually I would use my finger, but I have nails right now and it's gonna stab my highlighter. And I grab a tiny brush and I just Highlight the very tip of my nose, like that. Ooh, see see how much smaller my nose looks right there? And then, right there. Make my nose look really cute and tiny. And then I'll go in and I'll set my face, even though I'm not done with my face yet. Since I don't wear like really eyeshadow, um, I just set my face. And then I'll go in and I'll do it again at the end, but. Whew. I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Sometimes I'll use this, but I'm like kind of running out of my all-nighter Urban Decay Spray. And then I will go ahead and fan myself. I got this fan for Coachella um, before Coachella got canceled this year or last year at the Dollar Tree because it gets really hot. But it really works as a good makeup fan to make my setting spray dry. I used to go like this, but then my nail one scratched the out of my face and I had a red line down my face at a very important event. So I don't do that anymore. Okay, so the eyeliner I use is the Benefit Roller Lash Eyeliner. But lately I've been really up my eyeliner. I don't know what it is. I'm just like going through a phase where like my eyeliner doesn't look good. So I'll go in with like a really cheap, I think this is L'Oreal, but like, ooh, no shade. This eyeliner is not very dark and it's also more promising. You could like clean it up. So I'll go in with this and I'll draw kind of the shape of what I want and then I'll go in with the darker roller lash and I'll darken it and thicken it up. A lot of people always ask me how I do my eyeliner and I can't really give you an answer because I just do it. I don't know. Um, well, it doesn't have to... That's a good question. I don't know. Um, Here, I'll try my best. I'll draw a line from the bottom of my lash line up like that. See, I kind of hate that. I don't know if I like that line. And then I'll connect the top in one swooping motion like that. See, I don't even know if I like this. It's a little much for tonight, so I'm going to clean it up. See, I just don't like how long that was. Then I'll go in again with my highlighter because that's where, where my highlighter was. I'm so messy, you guys. I don't know why anyone asked me for this, but. Ooh, pretty. Mm. I, I saw it on the camera and I'm like, ooh. But then I was like, no. I'm having a bad eyeliner day. Frick. Frick me. Oh my god, I hate this. Ugh, what's going on? Not a good eyeliner day. How do I fix this? Welcome. We're gonna go through a bad eyeliner thing together. I ugh. this happens rarely, but it's been happening a lot more recently. I don't know why. Something about my eyeliner seals have just said goodbye. They're like, mm, no more eyeliner. Being kind of ballsy, I'm going in with the less waterproof one. Okay, that wasn't a bad choice. It kind of worked. And then I like draw on the lash line. I don't know if that made sense at all. Here's the final eyeliner on this eye. Ooh, the bottom's a little, looking a little crusty. Hold on. Look at that, look at that wing. Now, the hard part to match the other eye, I'm gonna go do that without having to talk to you guys because I'm distracted already to begin with and I'm a little winded to be honest because I hold my breath when I do my eyeliner. Six hours later. That literally took forever to get them even. But I've had worse eyeliner days. So now, what I would usually do is I will go in with a brush that looks like this. Oh, beauty girl moment. An angled brush, and I will take any black eyeshadow. Today we are going in with a Morphe palette, 15S, Social Butterfly. And I'm just gonna take the black. I drag it along my lower lash line, and I smoke it out a little bit. Some days I want it smokier than others. Today, 
just a clean black line is fine. And I usually don't take it to the inner corner. I usually just do the outer up until the middle. And then I kind of spread it out to make my eyes appear larger than they are. We know some beauty tricks, you guys. I'm not all that dumb. See? Just makes my eyes a little wider. Sometimes I'll do inner liner, sometimes I won't. Tonight I'm not going to because this is the nighttime and my eyes get watery and it's gonna go everywhere. Then I will go in with roller lash mascara. Mascara. And I will put some mascara on. I'm not gonna film it because you guys know what putting mascara on looks like, I hope. If not, it's like this. You need to make a weird face when you do it. It's either like this, or like this, or like this. You get, the, you get the idea. A few moments later. We are almost done. I did my mascara. Ouch. <laughs> All that's left pretty much for a daily routine is lipstick. Now, something I like to switch off a lot in my daily routine is my lipstick. But for the sake of this video, I will choose the lipstick I choose most days. I've gone through like three tubes of this in the last year. It's Velvet Teddy by MAC. But first, I'm going to go in with a lip liner. Now, I usually use... No. You could use either Boldly Bare by MAC, but I've been using a drugstore option. It's the LA Girl Perfect Precision Liner in the color Sugar and Spice. Sugar. I will go in and line my lips. I'm not very good at overlining, so I just try to keep the shape as much as I can. I would even lip liner alone makes your lips so much bigger. People constantly ask me if I have my lips done, which is... You do you, a lot of people I know have their lips done and it looks awesome on them. But first of all, I'm too scared. Secondly, I haven't gotten it done. And I'm like, no baby boo, it's just the way I do my lips. I put lip liner on and I feel like a lot of people don't, but I think lip liner is a game changer. And I do my bottom, especially if you know how to overline it. I'm not very good at it. I try not to do it too much because it looks sloppy when I do it. Yeah. I will then do my Velvet Teddy lipstick. This is a new one, if you can't tell. I love the smell of MAC lipstick. I know, I'm weird, sorry. Ooh, brand new. Breaking it in. I don't even know how lucky I was to find this lip liner lip color combo. It's like the best thing ever. Pretty. And then, usually, I will go over this with a lip gloss, also by MAC. In, it's a MAC cream sheen glass in the color D Light with two E's. And I just Top it off with that, and it makes my lips look nice and voluptuous. I'm done. Oh wait, I before I go anywhere that I'm going, or if I'm just taking pictures, I will do a little bit more highlighter on my nose, and then set again. Here's the final product. Yep. This is my makeup routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a really highly requested video. I'm sorry if I didn't live up to your expectations. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm not a beauty guru. I try. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And if you guys follow my makeup routine, even with your own products, go ahead and tag me in it on Instagram or Twitter or your stories and I'd love to go see what you guys do. It'd be awesome to see you try and recreate this look with your own products or if you have the same products as me, that'd be awesome too. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to see what other makeup looks I do if I do other makeup looks and make sure to follow me on Twitter for some funny shit. I am very funny on Twitter. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. 50% of you aren't. I checked my statistics yesterday, which is like, if you're watching my videos, subscribe. My merch link is down in the description below. So are all my socials. Once again, thank you guys so much. Comment who or what you guys want to see next and I'll make sure to check it out. Time to skedaddle. Bye guys.